that's my pre-read. What am I feeling before this? Okay. Hello, I'm Medina Verson from Only Murders in the Building. I play Poppy, and if you've seen the finale of season two, you will know there is more to Poppy than meets the mic. I am here with Theaterly to dive into some of the theater references in episodes seven through 10. If you've seen the season, you know that there are myriad theater references. It's all theater. I'm down to get nerdy with you. Are you familiar with a chorus line? Excuse me? Here, let me just, trust me on this. Okay, we put this down. This is the stage. Boom, 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 one. Singular sensation, every little step he takes. Da, 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 da. One smile, and suddenly nobody else will do. Ooh. So obviously in this clip, they're singing a chorus line, which was the longest running Broadway show. Interesting fact, it became the longest running show on the exact date of my birth. The day that I was born, it became the longest running Broadway show. Uh, if you couldn't tell from his performance in this clip, uh, Martin Short did win a Tony Award for Little Me. Do I really have to mention he's the one? Like I don't fucking know chorus line. <laughs> That's a genuine laugh. <laughs> Dave Vine, uh, is a uh, Tony nominee for Ghost, the musical, if you didn't know that. Um, I don't think Detective Williams is a Tony nominee, but she could be, because listen to that. Five entire episodes of Vamping. Right off the bat, we see Ali Stroker, who won for Ado Annie in uh, Oklahoma in, what, 2019? At this rate, the cops are gonna solve it before they do. I wish you people would take my Sixth Avenue slasher theory seriously. Marv, we gave you an entire episode of the fancast to make your serial killer kills bunny case. It didn't take. No one buys it. Move on. He's real. And he's out there. And then Daniel Oreskes, who has been in a ton of Broadway shows, um, including uh, he played Doc in Evo Van Hove's West Side Story. It's pretty cool. And now he's having lunch with Ado Annie. My day job is singing. I'm a chorus boy. Like on Broadway? Mm-hmm. I'm a hyena in The Lion King. Well, right now. So funny, Jason Vesey, who plays Jonathan, is on Broadway right now in, he's not a chorus boy, but he plays Thought Five in Strange Loop on Broadway. He wears some overalls and is very good looking. <laughs> he was also in Lion King several years ago. I saw the original cast a really long time ago, so I did not see Jason. I don't think he played a hyena, um, but I'm gonna ask him who he did play. I'm lucky, but it's an exhausting life. You can't imagine how much I wanna quit sometimes. Wait, what could a Broadway star possibly wish they did instead? TV? All right, don't laugh. <laughs> but I've always wanted to be a children's librarian. I'm a librarian. Shut up. That's our slogan. <laughs> and that's Michael Cyril Creighton, who he has been off Broadway all the time. He was also in Jack in the Box, his own web series, where he played a, 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 a theater ticket vendor. So that's definitely Broadway adjacent. Adjacent VZ. <laughs> he was a door to door salesman, a real life Willie Loman. So Oliver just compared his father to Willie Loman, who is the uh, father in Death of a Salesman. Um, he is the titular salesman. That's a real depressing reference. Um, but that has been on Broadway many times, uh, and it's coming back to Broadway this fall at the Hudson Theater. It's um, uh, transferring from the young Vic in London and um, Sharon D. Clark and Wendell Pierce and Andre De Shields and um, Chris Davis, who I'm a big fan of, I don't know you, but I'm a big fan of yours, um, are all gonna be in it. And uh, so maybe Oliver will go and see it and find some closure. Welcome, friends, oh, to the show that's about to end. 
for we have figured out who extinguished the big, beautiful flame of our beloved bunny, Fulcher. All right, so who did it? Who did it? Who did it? So Mrs. Gambolini, the parrot right there, is um, also voiced by the infamous Jane Howdeshell. I didn't get to have any scenes with her, which I was very sad about. Uh, I was very happy that I didn't have to pretend to stab Jane Howdeshell eight times. Um, so that was a bonus. Must you poop on every party, Charles? Can't we have a little dramatic tension here? Oliver, she's gonna be here in an hour. Just move it along. Mabel, we can do this production fast or we can do it well. What would you prefer? Fast, do it fast. Okay, well then I will not take responsibility for the reviews. Oliver is a theater director who maybe hasn't worked in the theater for quite a while, but I feel like by putting all this theater jargon in there, you really believe that he used to be a theater director. Um, it's like his opening, like his first rehearsal speech. Who here has had any theater training? Well, I'm on Broadway right now. True, he is on Broadway right now. And actually, um, Jason uh, took, or somehow finagled a day off of tech from Strange Loop on Broadway to film this scene. He like left and then like went, took a cab to the theater. It's really burning the candle at both ends. And I once auditioned for the part of Joseph in Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. Um, uh, later in the scene when he sings um, Coat of Many Colors, that made people laugh so hard and they did it so many different times. And later that day I got to hear Selena do uh, an impression of Michael singing My Coat of Many Colors and they were all giggling. <laughs> That's my favorite Selena Gomez song. Uh, Lester? Uh, just a little light stage stuff when I was younger. Oh, shit. Yeah, I graduated from Juilliard, started out off-Broadway with Tracy Letts. We were rivals. Um, so that's hilarious. That was one of the lines that made me laugh out loud when I read the script. Um, uh, Tracy Letts, if you don't know, you should read some plays. Uh, but Tracy Letts is uh, a really amazing playwright and actor um, and spouse to Carrie Coon, who is my obsession. <laughs> Anyway, you're all here today to play a part in manipulating a mastermind into a live confession on our cam show. Live stream. Live stream. Where the hell is the fucking cake? The cake is on its way, but this was very last minute and this is not about the cake. Steve Martin uh, has had several plays on Broadway. Bright Star, Meteor Shower. Uh, they chanced on the cake. <sighs> I'm leaving. Come on, Wait. Well, that's Jackie Hoffman, who is, has been in millions of Broadway shows. I first saw her in, um, in Hairspray in Seattle in its pre-Broadway run. I love her. I'm good. Uh, oh my gosh, I love this reveal of Paul Rudd. I love Paul Rudd. I saw him in Twelfth Night at Lincoln Center. He played Orsino, and it, it was this production um, with Helen Hunt it had like pools all over the stage. When you first see him, he's like in a pool and then he would like, he like pushed himself out of the pool and he's got this like extremely hairy chest and he's wearing like a gold, like, like bikini bottom thing. Whoa, Paul Rudd. That was a good production. <laughs> I don't remember anything except the chest hair. Look, this is what I suggest. Use it, okay? Let the tension seep in between you two tonight as a color. Okay, so like then I can kill him. Because I just might, Oliver. I'm warning you. Oh, no, see, now that is an interesting color. Places! <laughs> Break like that. I love how Oliver, as a director, is trying to, like, um, uh, speak sense into this crazy actor. I feel like I've seen this scenario happen before. And also, this stage manager, I don't know who plays the stage manager, but I hope that they're in uh, season three. <laughs> I hope that they get a bigger role, because that one line, it's perfect. Good luck tonight. Hmm. Uh-oh. For those of you who are not in the theater, you do not say and you do not say Be smart. Stay away from her. It's not very professional to go up to your co-star while they're on stage before the show starts to threaten them. Just a tip from an actor. Girl. I can't believe this. Right? What a year. 
And there's Andrea Martin, who we all know and love. Uh, she's been on Broadway in a bunch of stuff. And she also has such a long history with uh, Martin Short from uh, SCTV, Second Stage, Canadian People. And um, she's hilarious. I love her. What turned me into a creature of the night? <laughs> this looks like a terrible Broadway play. <laughs> I mean, I wish the curtains closed and then like a very gentle God Mike voice was like, ladies and gentlemen, we're experiencing technical difficulties. <laughs> and so it, it seems as though there has been a murder, um, sadly for Ben Glenroy. Um, so question, is this gonna mean that the murder is not in the building? Are they gonna have to change the name of their podcast or did Ben live in the building? Or will there be another murder? I don't know. Only murders in the Broadway theater. <laughs>